And if you're into mobile 3D content creation, then you definitely love this one. The folks at Spasio, creators of Cozy Blanket, have just made two announcements. One of them is Cozy Blanket version 2.0 is now available, and this comes with a couple of cool improvements, which includes the basic topology tools that it gets to work with, that now has a couple of quality of life improvements, manual UV unwrapping, packing and baking, preparing models for both animation, video games, real-time rendering, and surfacing. And of course, we've talked about Cozy Blanket on the channel and also demoed how you can work with this. If you do have an iPad and you're into 3D content creation, I would suggest that you do your best to get this. This would save you a lot of time as you can just lie on the couch, stay on the bed, be on the transport, rather than relying on a PC to get these things done. But the principal news is the fact that the folks at Spasil have just recently announced a new tool that they are working on and this is called uniform currently this is not available for download it is still yet coming out for public beta and it is quite promising the tease that they have here has to do with the fact that uniform is a new art focused 2d and 3d software designed for handling an entire asset creation process and this is featuring a modular scene and tool system unlike anything we've seen before and with the demo that we have here there is a lot of things to unpack this seems to feature a sculpting mode a modeling mode a retopology mode a painting mode and potentially there will be some form of boolean mode that would exist with this this is quite impressive and by far this reminds me about a lot of things which we're going to talk about as we proceed so let's start off with the first thing we see there is a ui this ui features two things from what we can make out of the new panel that you can get here there is a new scene and also a new viewport and the new scene gets to deal with an entire scene that you can work on and the new viewport seems very reminiscent of something that was proposed sometime to come over to blender now for those who might find this a little be confusing in terms of the scene and the viewport this is something pablo dubaro one of the principal developers of this particular tool which was a one-time blender developer as well for the blender sculpting branch had previously proposed something like this for blender sculpting and the idea behind the scene and the viewport is you can have multiple viewports and scene. So to anything you create on any of those viewports, you will probably be able to plug those back into the scene. And this way, you don't need to create the same thing over and over. You can have multiple scenes, have multiple viewports and create stuff in one or several viewports and get them allocated into different scenes. So in that case, one file can have multiple scenes and also multiple viewports as well. And if indeed this is what it is, it really means that we are getting a whole new workflow that will be coming. So with this simple image example that they have here, it kind of looks like the penguin was done on a new viewport, the mermaid was done on a new viewport and everything comes together in a new scene. Right here, you'd also notice that we've got layers. There's an outliner, there are references, import, override an evaluator and also a field very important set of things that would help you in the long run i kind of believe that this must also be a maximizable thing this might probably deal with the shading this might deal with properties i can't really make out what this looks like but then this must be the export button for exporting the mesh right over here you'd also notice that we have a couple of icons that deals with the object the scene the graph region add with maybe you want to add stuff in surface the formers so it means the formats might be coming to this there's a layout which might give you a top overview or search and i kind of believe the view might deal with rendering so lots of interesting things hopefully once we get our hands on the beta we can explore it and show you guys all of the things that are coming with this now if you've been around blender for a while you probably know that pablo dubaro had made a lot of contribution to what we have in the sculpt branch of blender from the cloth simulation to the expand tools boundary tools face sets some fairing tools the pose tool the slide relax tool most of the filters that we currently have within the sculpting branch of blender which includes the mesh filter cloth filter and color filter at the same time tools like the line tool, some of the painting tools, the smearing tools, lots of these were done by Pablo Dubaro. And then he did propose an asset creation pipeline design. And at the time, the idea behind this is to take advantage of Blender strength as an entire software package and do some very interesting things. And he did propose a couple of modes that anyone working in Blender can take advantage of. And these modes include the object, freeform, card, painting, layout and topology, attribute edit, and also the simple edit. With some sub-interesting workspaces for the painting mode that dealt with hand painting, concept art, and also a PBR 
VR texture in workspace. But it seems like things didn't really go according to plan as within the comments there were people for and also against it. But either ways, it seems like Pablo has moved on with this idea and it has brought to the bat of the uniform. And if you're wondering what device you can use this with, Pablo actually mentioned that this is going to be running on any device that can support touch, keyboard and potentially a pen. And unlike Cozy Blanket, this may not be restricted to only iPad users as this might be a tool that anyone that has a tablet can actually start working with, making it available for most people and this would be a very good one. So this is it. For those who would like to take a look at some of the tools that the folks at Spassi had made, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you over to their Twitter page where you can see this. And at the same time, if you like to take a look at the conversation with the asset pipeline, then you can go over to the link in the description and check this out for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.